wind speeds to stick around throughout the afternoon. Once those high wind warnings expire for Colorado Springs and Pueblo at 5 p.m., I'm expecting wind speeds to still be breezy, but generally they will be quieting down later on this evening. So there is relief in sight. This is a check outside at North Union in Montebello from our Mortgage Solutions Financial Neighborhood Weather Network camera. Mostly cloudy skies, a few breaks of sunshine, above average temperatures. You're not really going to notice any of that. You're primarily just going to experience that wind. It's why that is the big weather headline on our threat tracker. Additionally, we're monitoring some snow that's taking place in the high country and even along the western slope. We do have some ice storm alerts in effect because of some freezing rain. So if you're heading out west, you will really run into some major problems. Here's a look at live HD Doppler radar. Remember green indicating rain, blue showing snow, and some of those pink hues uh, picking up on uh, those very isolated patches of freezing rain. So if you're traveling to the mountains, do be prepared for a tricky traveling um, condition just because we will be seeing not only snow coming down, there will be reduced visibility due to blowing snow, and with wind-driven snow, we will be seeing a snow-packed and icy roads. So you'll really want to take it easy. This afternoon, the high temperatures are set to range to the 50s and 60s. Throughout the evening into 8 o'clock, we drop to the 40s and 50s, so a really mild time frame for us as we go throughout the rest of the day today. It's just going to be those winds that really mess with us. Into 4 p.m., snow only becomes more widespread in the high country. Even can't rule out a couple of... Uh, stray showers in the Pikes Peak region, specifically Teller County, into 10 p.m. Lower elevations expected to stay dry through early tomorrow morning. While it will still be breezy, we could see uh, once more breezy conditions tomorrow. It's not going to be quite as intense or as powerful as what we're seeing out there today. Lows tonight dropping to the 20s and 30s with highs tomorrow in the 40s and the 50s. So not quite as warm tomorrow as what we're experiencing today. And that's just because our wind speeds tomorrow won't be quite as powerful as what we're dealing with this Monday. We stay in the 50s through Wednesday, dropping to the 30s by Friday. That's when we've got our next chance for snow. We'll dry things up Saturday through Monday. For Pueblo, 55 tomorrow, 50s we stay on Wednesday, pulling back temperatures by the end of the work week. Temperatures start to recover this weekend. Our only shot at seeing some snow arrives on uh, Friday. For Canyon City, 50s for us the next couple of days, upper 30s on Friday, 40s with us this weekend. One chance for seeing some scattered snow, and that's on Friday. And during that time, we could see some minor snow accumulation. Daily chances for some isolated showers through Thursday in Teller County, but more widespread stuff possible on Friday, with temperatures then only in the mid 20s. We'll be bringing you another check of current wind speeds coming up next. I've lived here a long time, um, yeah. Yeah, almost yeah. 24 years. I don't remember the wind ever being this strong and, and this sustained and damaging. Yeah. Well, thankfully, it's going to die down later on tonight. We certainly need some quieter wind speeds. All right. Thanks, Abby. Well, it was a wild night at this year's.